The William Lacey Group were very fortunate to be asked to tender for this project at Brookwood Farm in 2002. Um, the project was on hold for a number of years and when we were asked to um, review our tender price, um, we were asked to consider the development as being a low carbon project and um, we were asked to um, design to code level 5 and that was an, an aspiration at the time going back about two years now in 2008 so presented a, a, a huge challenge that, that um, we relished the opportunity to sort of investigate. We've approached this in, uh, with relish and the design and materials reflect the locality and locally sourced materials. The elements of construction, primarily we focused on uh, a highly insulated building envelope with triple glazed windows and the key elements to our design had to deal with air tightness, cold bridging. The way you achieve Code Level 5 is basically through nine fundamental parts of building process and each one of those uh, you have to score points. Uh, the more intricate the element, the more points you have to score and what happens is you have to make sure that you've got all of the information early uh, to enable you to gain the maximum amount of points. Once you've missed an element there's no going back and saying oh we could have done this or we could have done that. So the importance is, is communication at a very early stage. There are nine fundamental elements that you have to achieve points in. Um, some of that is in regards to supplying photovoltaics or renewable energy on the roof, rainwater harvesting, uh, the amount of uh, site waste that you produce on site, and all that has to be monitored throughout the whole process, and all that data has to be provided to the BRE to ratify that you have done what you set out to do. I'm Graham Howarth, I'm from ICF Tech Limited. We're the contractor on this project to provide the structural walling element. Now the important aspect of this system for our clients is that they wanted a system that could be put up within a given time period. This project 19 weeks, we were one day over and that included some of the worst weather we had last year. So it's a system you can build all year round. Other important aspects is it's got a high thermal efficiency. Our native wall, which is just 250 mil thick, gives you a U value of 0.19. Other important aspects in terms of air infiltration, we can get down well below one, which when you consider a standard house needs 10, you've got a very high performance walling system. In terms of speed of installation, it is very quick. A five bedroom house, such as the ones on these plots, they went up in just under two and a half weeks. So it's a very quick, cost effective, thermally high performance building system. My name is Mike Butterick, I'm the um, Head of Marketing at the Litchfield Group and just to explain, um, we uh, were the parent company for ICF Tech that built the walls but we've also supplied the, the windows and the doors so uh, together we provide a good proportion of the whole building external envelope here. Now in terms of the windows, um, they're quite different from um, the windows that, that you normally buy um, in that the, um, the energy performance is, is exceptionally good. Um, and the U value is 0 0.8. Now, what that means is that um, very little energy is lost through the windows. There are five chambers overall across the actual window profile, uh, which is more than normal. Um, and the reinforcement uh, of the window system is normally done by steel or aluminium. Uh, but in this case, we've used uh, um, uh, a cellular recycled polymer, uh, which is very strong, but also uh, is very high levels of insulation in itself and so the reinforcement in this case is actually providing additional insulation for the window when normally it's the other way around, it's detrimental. Um, the window is triple glazed and it's a 36 millimetre overall sealed unit. The entrance doors are quite unusual in that the, um, the overall thickness of the door blade in this case is 54 millimetres which is wider than what you would normally get from an entrance door. The core of the door is uh, insulation and the, uh, the, the facings on the inside and the outside are engineered timber. So this is providing a very strong, robust, resilient door with a very good insulation value. But in addition, it's got three weather seals. Um, 
and it's a double rebated door with three weather seals and that's all to do with air tightness and so again hugely important to get a very airtight structure on these dwellings and the front door is often the weakest link but in this case we've got very good air tightness results from the from the entrance door the skills for the uh, we'll call the external envelope um, it's not a difficult task, it's, uh, it's the, in a simplistic format, it's like putting Lego blocks together. I think by the time the guys had done the first couple, there was only actually like one team leader and he could orchestrate the other guys to build it together. I actually think I could have done it myself. It was so easy. <laughs> Lifetime homes, what that means is that um, anybody can move into the dwelling and basically stay there for their lifetime. So for example, in this particular house, the joists span from wall to wall and that means that any of the downstairs walls can be knocked out at any point to create a different living space. Uh, in addition to that, in this particular house, we've got a wider staircase to enable a stair lift and a knockout panel to provide a lift to an upper floor. One of the other elements is this, this machine. This is a mechanical and heat ventilation recovery system. What that does, it takes humidity or warm air from the rooms that create humidity and transports it to other areas um, to save on heating bills. All of the lights within the dwelling, they were all uh, from low energy light fittings. They're all supplied by the same company, which is the Green Lighting Company. They're all compact fluorescents. The ones that we have fitted in these, they produce 18 watts of light. Um, as, you, as you can possibly see, that's still quite bright. Another element is uh, control of water. All of the taps uh, or uh, elements that uh, use water um, have to be restricted. So the, all of the basin taps to wash hand basins are two litres. The kitchen taps are four litres and the showers and baths are six litres. This uh, gives a maximum output of 80 litres per person per day. We were also asked to design two detached five bedroom houses in accordance with the code level five for the Stonewall Homes and where the feature, the photovoltaics and also on these units they have solar thermal panels. The biggest element I think is to really get involved early, talk to each other, work together as a, as a team um, because every, everything that you do impacts on the next person following and if, in fact if you, if you don't get it down as I mentioned earlier you've missed it, you, you're not going to get a second chance at it.